<clears throat> All right, so for the post-league recap, um, I think the takeaway here <clears throat> is that um, Merfolk Trickster is definitely better than Harbinger of the Tides, even when you have Chalice in the main deck. <clears throat> While Harbinger is better at bouncing one-drops, the fact that Trickster is so good at handling Tarmogoyf and is so good in almost every other situation, it's so much better than Harbinger in every other situation, that I think Merfolk Trickster is um, is the right call. You know, uh, I'm not entirely convinced, though, that, that main deck Chalice is bad, though. The thing is, is that, in a way, I almost feel better about playing uh, cards like Merfolk Trickster when I've got access to Chalice, because I feel like Chalice deals with a lot of the... Um, it really helps shore up a lot of the problems with matchups like Prowess, where Merfolk Trickster is oftentimes just not enough. Not that Harbinger by itself without Chalice would be enough either, but, you know, at least Chalice without Harbinger is better than no Chalice and no Harbinger. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think that's the takeaway, is that uh, is that Merfolk Trickster is the real deal. I, I think it's very unlikely I'm going to go back to Harbinger anytime soon. Um... Another takeaway, I think, is that I think Brazen Borrower is just better uh, than Repeal. Currently, there is um, not a lot of uh, Ice Fang Quaddles running around, even that Soul Herder deck. You know, the good news is, is if we're playing Copter, we can uh, bounce the extra, I mean, we can um, uh, pitch the extra copies of Brazen Borrower anyway. And Brazen Borrower is just so much more efficient at removing things. It's also just a body. Sometimes you need a body for Smuggler's Copter. I'm a little bit worried about having eight fairies that make me extra susceptible to to um, <clears throat> um, Plague Engineer. But, you know, maybe it's worth it. Uh, I actually did... Another takeaway is I really did like Fairy Conclave. I, I missed it quite a bit. This card was, um, you know, was a mainstay of mine for so long, you know. Um... Yeah, I do. Uh, I do. I do like it. You know, one thing I was not super impressed with was the was the um, the fiery islet and the waterlogged grove. They 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 did take me a number of damage. They did draw me an extra card a few times, <clears throat> but uh, you know, I actually kind of miss having access to castle uh, um, um, castle Vantress. You know, it's just it's hard for me to justify though playing um playing uh so many lands that might come into play tapped i think for my next league though i'm gonna do that i think against all odds and i do like oboro for possibly bouncing to my hand with smuggler's copter but you know i think the sheer power the sheer power of castle vantress i think is um is worth playing playing two copies i could play one copy and that might be enough But uh, I want to try to, um, I definitely think playing all four and playing Fairy Conclave is just asking to be playing lands tapped for like two or three turns in a row, which is not where I want to be. Hopefully with 10 islands, um, I can have Castle Vantress come into play untapped enough. Still a little nervous about this. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually thinking strongly right now, maybe just um, one Vantress, one one Oboro. I think that's actually what I'm going to do for now. Oboro doesn't exactly synergize well with Castle Vantress because it's not an island, so it won't turn Castle Vantress on. But that being said, I think there's enough upside to pitching it with Smug Smuggler's Copter um, that uh, that it's even though it doesn't synergize particularly well with Castle, it's uh, still it's still good enough. And I think one Castle Vantress is worth more than two of those Horizon lands. I think. Um, Plus, also, by playing a 1-1 split, uh, next time I can get a feel for whether or not two Castle Vantresses would be better or easier. I can just imagine the Oboro was a castle. Uh, most likely, I'm not going to be playing uh, one, another Oboro. I'm not going to be playing one Oboro if I play two castle. You know, that's just... Um, I, 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 at that point, I need all the islands I can get. So, uh, we'll see, you know, uh, how that goes. But, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, not bad, and um, hopefully next time goes even better. I might make some other changes, we'll see. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I kind of liked it, and I think we're actually close to maybe, you know, f getting a 4-1, maybe getting a 5-0.
you know, this is usually how it, this is usually how it goes with Merfolk. I usually have to tweak it a bit, and when I get it just right, that's when I can start getting the five zeros, you know. But there usually is like a certain process of having to find just the right tweak, and you know, usually I can't really find that out without without running them through games. I mean, that's just how it goes, you know, testing. Uh, um, right. So, all right. Till next time. Uh, you know, and yeah, I keep forgetting to say this, but you know, don't forget. Uh, if you want to see more of this, please uh, subscribe and, you know, hit the bell icon for notifications. Um, I, you know, I'm trying to, I, I want to try to upload a little bit throughout the week. So I'm actually experimenting, keeping some of my videos like uploaded ahead of time, having them listed as private and kind of like dispersing them little by little. I'm not sure if I'm going to have them automatically timed because I kind of like also, you know, tweeting them when they come out. I don't exactly, I'm not sure if there's a way to automatically tweet them, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I kind of like, I kind of like this, uh, this, this thing I've got going on where I record a number of them and I can kind of disperse them, uh, as they go. Uh, I'm recording a number of content, actually. I don't know if I'm actually going to upload all of it, but I've, I'm recording quite a bit of, um, matches now. So we'll see. Um, all right. Till next time.